you know, you called, you had to put her in a in a chair, and it was it was horrible. It was torturous last night hearing the screaming and and the banging and people. It's like okay, that's that's you know upsetting, but the most upsetting thing is that I am completely misunderstood. That is the most horrible feeling. Like my own family misunderstands me, they misinterpret me, and and. Poor Jody, they, they misinterpret her, they misunderstand her. She puts her neck out on the line for people and then they get mad at her. I mean, it is just horrendous. It's horrendous. And you know what? Every Joseph Smith, every every wonderful man of God has had to be misunderstood. That's right. And you know, I'm going to get out of this. Who knows? I, maybe, maybe in 10 days I'll get out of this if I'm you know, if the if truth prevails right now or, you know, who knows, like 20 years? I, I don't know. I don't know how long. But I'm going to step out. I'm going to say I went through everything I have seen. God's children suffer. All the people here, my jail cellmates, have been beautiful women, but they've been hurt. You know, they've been deceived into drugs and in my heart it just has so much compassion for them. And I mm. I have compassion for the cons and I have compassion for myself and I and then to be told that I'm suicidal, I'm like, no, no, that's not true. Anyway, um that if you need to Sherry, let the, that was either Sherry or one of your siblings. Well, they're all in cahoots. One means all of them, but yes, you're right. In your hearing, I don't know if you've considered this. I don't know if it'd be helpful, but you could have the house. <clears throat> and, if, well, and if all the kids go to the house, you've got room there, and I, I will, I will gladly stay away and and let you guys be. So I don't know if that's helpful. I'm just giving it to you if it is. Thank you, and. In the discussions with with my attorney, that that's the only way that we're going to retain custody of the children. That's fine. There, he's he is thirty five years in this, and he said even if you are acquitted and um, are released, they will place legal restrictions on your access to the under-18 children. I figured such. I figured such. God told me. God told me when I was driving before I called you. I didn't have any information. I didn't know anything. And the Spirit said, your children are going to be removed. And I just, I cried out loud. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not ready. And God told me I'm done. And I, I just, oh. So. Mm. Satan has taken everything well, I, away from me that I love. And I'm a good woman. I don't do naughty things. I don't do naughty things. I'm a really good girl. Uh. Ruby, I'm going to do everything that I can okay. to keep <sighs> truth in our family. And Thank you. I'm, I'm committed to our family. I'm committed to you and our marriage, no matter what happens. Thank you. Thank you. I will be here to support you in any way that I can. Well, thank you for stepping up. This. I this, do need to go, but okay. All right. call me back when or if you need. When will you find out? How can I call you? When should I call so I find out what they say? I don't know how long this will go, but if you call this afternoon, I, I will know. This is a preliminary hearing, so there will be no 
Okay. Well, it's hard to get a phone around here. I asked for a phone, and it took hours to get it, so I may, it may not be until later tonight. Okay. That's fine. Okay. All right. Good luck. I will be praying for you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.